Hey everyone, I'm Haruna and welcome back to my channel. It is a beautiful sunny day here in the south of the UK and it gave me a little bit of energy to do this unboxing video for you guys. This is two rare Louis Vuitton bags. It's super hard to get them. The same bag, two different canvases and that is the pochette accessoire, one in monogram and one in the demier azure, um, which is the only colours those come in. And I managed to actually get one of each. It took some tireless stalking of the Louis Vuitton webpage. And later in this video I will also tell you some tricks that maybe you'll be able to get your own. So, let's get unboxing. So here they are, two beautiful Louis Vuitton boxes. I dread every time I open one of these because the bow is so pretty and I just don't want to open it. But, so here they are, both of them, and I've mixed them up so I actually don't know which one is what colour. So should we start with the left or the right? Let's start with this one. Oh, I love these boxes, they're so pretty, so we open it carefully. Actually, I'm going to pull this out first. It's just, just the return slips and gift um, receipts. This is also, you can put a little personalised message in there. Uh, I always save those little bows because they're super cute. It's one of those magnetic ones. Here we go. They're really light. That actually surprised me a little bit how light they are. This is the monogram. And it is such a beautiful little bag. It's actually, I, I knew the measurements but it's actually smaller than I thought it was going to be. So, just move this around here. So let's have a look inside. Inside is of course the little textile slip, we don't need to look at that. It's quite large inside. It has a canvas inside and a monogram on the outside. And the strap eventually will patina and darken slightly. I always want, I want them to patina because I like them better when they look a little bit worn because this, this right here looks a little bit pink and I'm not really a pink person. Well, I shouldn't really say that because I got a cute little bag. But it's super, super cute. You can detach this and then you can pull it through here which I think is quite handy because you can then use it as a clutch or you can put a different strap on, for example, the chain strap from the Felicia bag or if you have any other ones, of course, you can purchase uh, separate uh, chains or separate straps. Straps is the word I'm looking for <laughs> uh, as well. Now it has gold details, which I like. I'm very much a gold person saying I have white gold rings, <laughs> but I love the, the gold. And it has the, there we go, Got the original stamp, and of course inside is the number stamp. Mine, oh, it was made in 21. Interesting, I like that. And now for the next one, since I didn't know when I started what uh, which color, which canvas it was at first. So this will be the uh, Damier Azure, the white one. This is the only two colors that this bag comes in. Let's open it up. Lift seat off. I always pull these out sideways. Oh no, there's an extra knot. Take it out of the box. 
And here we have the Azure, just the white version. It's white and grey. I th actually thought that the strap would be different from the other one, but it isn't. Um, that actually surprised me a little bit. Um, it still has the same gold details, the gold medals, uh, and the gold zipper. Let's have a look on the inside. This one is much, I know these are different canvases obviously, this one is much smoother. I like that. And it has a very, very light beige interior. Same, still the same um, inside sticker in there and this one was also produced in 21 I think yeah almost the same number as the other one that's actually quite interesting so it's this bag is softer than I thought it would be I like my bags a little bit stiff but of course I know that this type of bag is supposed to be quite soft and of course the leather will also soften over time this too has the whoop, detachable uh, strap, of course, it's the same bag. Um, it has the same logo on the side, right there. And I don't know which one I like best. I'm a little bit torn, to be honest. I got this one because I was planning on using it for my wedding. I need a little bag next to my dress in the evening because I need, I need my phone. I need lots of other stuff. Um, now that I see it, I knew that it obviously I knew that it wasn't white, but now that I see it, I'm a little bit torn if it will just break too much with the fabric. Obviously, I'm wearing a white wedding dress uh, or ivory, but it's still it's still whiter than this. If it will break a little bit, but I am wearing gold jewelry, so it would probably it probably look quite good. I will have to decide. If not, I will probably send it back. But I'm definitely keeping. The monogram because I love it. Now next to each other, try not to break the leather. They are so nice. I love the shape. I actually, like I said at the start, I thought that it would be a little bit larger, but when I look at it, it's going to fit quite a bit. If you look at this, I have a very large phone. I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max, so this is this is huge and it does fit nicely inside I will next up do a little bit of a review on what fits inside and I'm very excited about that but look at these they're so beautiful now to what everyone usually wonders and that is what fits inside and let's just say I've been wondering the same so let's give it a go I'm using the monogram one and I have a couple of different items that I that I always have to have with me so I have my ginormous wallet um, it's very very full and it's very very heavy right now so I'm gonna try with this one I have my sunglasses my car keys and house keys and of course I always need a chapstick so I'm gonna try to put all of these in and see how it goes I have a feeling that my uh, ginormous keychains are not going to fit. If if not, maybe they'll just... No. <laughs> It'll just hang out. No. Really though. I've been wondering if my wallet and my phone will fit both of them. So I'll try to take this off because I usually don't have it on. So let's see, we got the wallet it's already very full and then we have phone which I can put does it fit in the little pocket it does my phone does not fit inside the little pocket if you have a smaller phone than me like I said this is a 11 Pro Max iPhone if you have a smaller one it will fit but mine just doesn't go in so I'm gonna have to put that on the side of the wallet and then, yeah, there's no way I can get my sunglasses in there with the big wallet. So that one's going out. We've got the chapstick, which is very important. Put that next to the phone. And then I need house keys. 
so it's already really full. If I take off my little furry friend right here, I still have quite a large keychain. So I've got to put the keys there without breaking the bag. And my car keys. I have a feeling that I might have to take my duck off as well, but he doesn't have a little like hook on him, so I'm not even gonna bother to try to take him off. So let me just maneuver it in here. I might just have to let him let him hang. I can't kind of squeeze him in, but I don't really want to squeeze it. So if we leave my my little duck friend just hanging out, then it is full and it's very heavy um, and the sunglasses do not fit in. Now I'm going to try something else because a little while ago I unboxed this which is my little Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet and it is much much smaller than this ginormous thing right here. Not to mention it's lighter because there's not much in it. So let's try the same thing again with a smaller wallet. So if I put that in and it fits so nicely because it's the same color. I can also actually put it like upwards, sideways, uh, which is kind of handy because in this wallet you can can pull your cards out at the top. So if I put it at the end, the end of the zipper, like where it opens, I can possibly pull out a card without having to open my entire bag, which is very very nice, especially if you're in a city and you don't want people sticking your hand, their hands into your bag. So next up is phone. Put that in there. It's not bad so far. We still have a lot of room to go. Let's try and see if we can get these in this time. And obviously they don't go this way. Um, I can I can bully them in, but I won't be able to close it. So let's forget about these. I'll wear them on my head. That's what I usually do anyway. I either wear them on my head or I leave them in the car because. Let's face it, no matter where I go, I'm gonna take the car anyway. So we have the chapstick that needs to go in there, put that in a little pocket. And my house keys without my little bear, put that on the side. And then my car keys with my little cute friend here. Now, my little cute friend here will actually fit this time. So I'm gonna put this somewhere else because it was a little bit in the way. Put that on the side and of course be sure to not have anything that leaks in here because the canvas on the inside is going to soak that right up so as you can see there's actually room and oh, it doesn't sip or does it it does zip with the Victorine wallet uh, upward, but it doesn't sit well, so I will probably turn it around. Obviously, it doesn't take that much more room when it's on its side, so it's not really the end of the world. All right, let's try again. Let's try to zip it again. There we go. One slightly fully packed bag, but I actually got everything I need other than, other than my little dingly bear and my sunglasses I actually got into this tiny little bag to be completely honest I'm actually impressed that I got that much inside it's obviously it weighs a ton but it sits comfortably it works that is really really cool I have everything I need I got all my keys and I even have my little ducky friend it's important to have a little ducky friend with you and I can actually get to my keys to get to the car without having to pull everything out of my bag which is usually the problem when you have a large bag that the thing you need which is usually either a chapstick or a key ends in the bottom of your bag and you have to dig it out to get to them now for a little bit of advice getting these two was not easy it was several weeks of tireless stocking. I have seen people online that managed to get them in like one or two days uh, but here's a couple of little tips from me to get one of these so you don't have to buy them off eBay because that is a waste of money. They go for like 800, 900 pound on eBay so you're paying like 300 pound more for something that is rather small. It's supposed to be the cheapest handbag 
technically it's not a handbag, it's a small leather goods, but I mean, I think we can all agree that this is a handbag. Um, and it's, it's just not worth it. Don't go buy it on eBay, really, really don't. Um, what I did was I kept everything, I usually have a big computer, so I usually sit there most of the day and I can just update the page all the time. So what I did was I opened one page each for both of these, the different colors, and updated it literally every 10 seconds. That sounds a little bit daunting, but you don't have to update it every 10 seconds all day because it's not going to be available. I saw some available at four o'clock and some at 10 o'clock in the evening and some in the morning um, and they disappear. You have about 10 seconds to finish uh, the purchase. Now, if you manage to get one of these into your shopping cart while it's still available, um, you've already like overcome one hurdle because then you can just uh, update your shopping cart and when it's not grayed out anymore, click proceed, click pay, get that done. You've got like 10 seconds literally and I was very lucky to get both of these um, actually within a couple of days of each other um, because I decided when I got this one I wanted to get this one too. Uh, but my tip to uh, people in the UK, obviously I can't really say for people in the US uh, time zone differences and it's probably a different, even though it's the same web page, uh, they're probably catered towards uh, different, not different stores, but they probably have different online stores. I don't know, I don't know exactly how it works, they could all be linked together, but what I found was at between 9am and about midday UK time, so 9am till midday, uh, they became available much more often and that also goes for the mini per se. I don't have one of those yet I'm still working on it, but uh, They got available much much more often in the morning. So I have a feeling that maybe they're doing restocks in the morning uh, it is today the 23rd of February and that it's been like that for the last couple of weeks. I don't know if that's something that happens all the time but that's the pattern that I've seen so my recommendation to you is if you have either a phone, I would recommend doing it on a computer because it's usually quicker with a checkout. Um, and be on the web page and have what you want, the color you want open, uh, like 9 a.m. to midday. Obviously, I know a lot of people are at work at that time, but I'm not saying that it's, it's not available any other time, but I've noticed that it's more available at those times. Um, that was when I got both of mine and I've several times tried to get a mini pushette uh, at that time because they do come available around that time. Uh, I just haven't been lucky enough to actually manage to get one. But if you manage to get one into your shopping cart, don't delete it. Really don't because you've already become overcome one hurdle. You're saving like a couple of seconds so that you have more time to check out. So that's my little tips for you to get these beautiful bags and also the mini pushettes. Um, when it comes to the um, Nano Speedy, I have never ever seen that uh, available and we can just prize ourselves lucky that we can get these ones. That was everything for this unboxing video. Really hope some of my tips helped someone um, maybe get a bag or at least figure out how to get one. Um, I'm super stoked that I managed to get both of them. I can't even, I couldn't even believe it when I managed to get the second one. So I really hope some others are just as lucky as me to get these absolutely beautiful Louis Vuitton bags. Now, since it's the end of the video, I'm gonna have to remind you to subscribe. Do give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Drop something down below if you just wanna say hello or let me know if you actually managed to get one yourself using my little tips. And as usual, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.